Good morning, everyone. Well, it's a bright and early uh, 4.49 and 25 seconds in the morning here in Northeast Texas. And I am wide awake, so I thought we'd have a chat. So let's chat, since it's so early in the morning, let's talk about something lighthearted and frivolous. Okay, let's not. <laughs> fooled ya, fooled ya. Okay, um, I'm going to bring up some, I'm going to answer some questions. And the first one was uh, brought up, kind of, by a man that is up here on the, uh, on my comments as Rob Wessels. And he says, Dear Naya, I have been living on this planet for 70 years now in the Netherlands. I am a small businessman and confused by my sexuality. I have no special faith, but hope that something beautiful will come. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I've lived here 70 years in the Netherlands, small businessman and confused by my sexuality. Okay, well, I'm going to call you Rob, whether or not you're Rob or Barbara or Jonathan or whoever you might be. I'm going to call you Rob. Okay, so Rob, there's very, very good reason why you're 70 years old living in the Netherlands and you're a small business owner and you're confused by your sexuality. It makes absolute sense, although it's very confusing. Those of you who have followed me from the get-go a while back, year and a half, two years ago, something like that, um, I told you guys that sexuality... <clears throat> was not what they thought it was and it was going to get a lot 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 more confusing and just as I predicted not that I'm psychic I'm just saying just as I predicted that's exactly what is happening and it is wonderful to see because just like I told you you guys that at the beginning all that is came together and the Creator he kind of split everything and over here he called that light, and over here he called that dark. The light were in the higher vibrations, the dark were in the lower, more dense vibrations. Not better, not worse. It's not what I'm saying. They simply were arranged, that's all. The same thing happened with masculine and feminine. And those things were just arbitrarily divided. As 3D was accomplished, everything was divided pretty much into two parts, uh, white and black, <laughs> left and right, stop and go. Uh, <laughs> everything had a beginning and an end. Everything had a this side and that side. For every um, reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? And that was true with uh, sexuality as well and everything was taken with the monotheistic religions they really had to get a handle on the whole sex thing because as I have told you guys before when you have sex and you are with a really good partner and you're really relating with each other you're really caring for each other in the process of making love and I do mean making love and you climax, and you climax together, that feeling of ecstasy is the way that we feel on the other side all the time. That is a normal, our normal state. Um, we were given that moment, uh, that moment is accessible to us so that we can remember, we can touch base with how we are on the other side. It's kind of a vibrational thing, not a sexual thing. It's a vibrational reminder of the other side. Okay? Well, they couldn't be having that. If we're going to get to 3D, we can't have the gods touch and base with the other side all the time. Because that can lead to enlightenment and getting along with each other and raising vibrations and coming out of amnesia. And that was exactly opposite of what this game is all about. So in order to get to the third dimension, they had to stop that. So they got the monotheistic religions, and all the monotheistic religions, all the Christian religions that were any related like that, uh, any 
any of the monotheistic religions that were like the Christian religions, uh, the Jews, the Muslims, the, well, you know, the long list. Uh, they definitely put a kibosh on the whole sex thing. Uh, sex can only be done after marriage, which, as you know, is crazy because, I mean, that was a really smart move for them to do that because, you know, if people aren't sexually combat compatible, their uh, marriage is not going to be super successful. It's just not. And so that was a uh, genius for them to say no sex until after uh, marriage. And then sex became a big no-no and all these rules and regulations were out about sex. Well, of course, that's a very powerful source uh, of energy that comes out of a human being. It's uh, because of many reasons, but we are animals. It came, comes out very, very strongly in adolescence. So it was a good time to get a real good handle on making people feel like they're worthless and they're sinners and they're no good. If you can get them into that church building and if you can preach at their face, and you can tell them, hey, if you're even looking at somebody thinking about sex, you are a sinner and you need our help. Okay? So it's pure genius, by the way, pure genius. But that was just the beginning. And then, of course, we went into um, getting rid of all these sexualities that used to be there, just like the men. Well, they haven't gone anywhere, but they've been pushed aside. And, and played like they're not there. Just like the magical creatures have been pushed aside and people say that they're all make-believe. They don't really exist. It's just like uh, the aliens that everybody used to know all the time, no big deal. They got pushed aside and they no longer exist. Everything had to be replaced by that monotheistic God. Everything had to be replaced by it. Okay, so those things were pushed back, those, those, those other kinds of sexuality. And in place of it, it was replaced with that black-white uh, aspect that was a part of the third dimensional creation. And that is heterosexual and homosexual. And of course, like all things in 3D, one of them has to be good and one of them has to be bad. And, of course, heterosexual was considered good and normal, and homosexual was considered bad and abnormal. Okay? And that's where we're coming out of. But as I told you, the vibrations have changed. Things are coming back. Young people won't abide this stuff anymore, starting with, of course, the indigos, then the crystals, the prisms, and now um, the baby uh, surgers and uh, they uh, turn away from those things they know better the starting with the indigos they are like uh, no that's not right uh, that's not right that's not how I feel and I'm not gonna lie and play like for anybody so that's where they start that transition of uh, being honest about how they're feeling now all of the adults around them, their adults that are over them are saying, oh, no, no, you're wrong. Uh, you have to be heterosexual because that's right and homosexual is wrong. And, and the indigo started the discussion, which has been around all along. It's just people that bring it up get shut up, get shoved in a corner. It never, truths never completely go away. They're always popping up. But now they're popping up a lot and they're not going away. They'll never go away again. So now the, the young people are saying, well, I don't know what this is, but it's not that. And um, I guarantee you that's not who I am. And I know for a fact that that's not who I'll ever be. And there's nothing wrong with me. And I'm not going to listen to you that I don't go into one of these two categories. And therefore, there's something wrong with me. Now, um, as I'm almost 60 years old here in a few months, um, I was around whenever there was a, uh, a big fight for the, the gay people to come out and be gay and be able to do that without getting killed. And I was born in Wyoming, so that is a 
really sore spot with me. And I was raised in small towns, so I saw a lot of really, really bad stuff. And I was a nurse whenever AIDS came out, so I saw a lot of um, bad stuff happen there as well. So what I found interesting is years and years and years later, um, after a lot of that has calmed down, and for the most part, I don't know that any, no one around me anymore, still in this small town, uh, thinks twice about uh, people being gay. It, it just, I'm sure there's people that still do, I'm not saying that, but as a general rule, people are walking down the street in small town, northeast Texas, holding hands, um, same-sex um, relationships are ongoing. People are kissing each other and having um, relationships and weddings and, you know, which is absolutely pho phenomenally um, cool. Very, very cool. But I am the mother of a daughter who frequently um, identifies as bisexual. So what I found interesting was once the... Um, gay aspects started to be accepted, the bisexual people started to come out, and immediately there was an attack by both heterosexual and homosexual people to shove bisexual people into the closet, to say, oh, no, 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 you're wrong. Now you're wrong. There are only two groups, and you must pick one. Now both of these groups are now okay, but now you're the bad group, and we cannot have three groups. So, there's always a group trying to force everybody else into their group that is the right group. And it had just finished, or it just kind of gotten a handle on it with the gay people, and I'm watching them going, what are you doing? This, this is what straight people did to you, and now you're going to turn around and do it to bi people right off the bat? Well, it didn't stop the bisexual people. It hasn't stopped Stephanie. Stephanie is much more than that. But she frequently says she's bisexual just to make a point, just to push people to stop doing this. Well, okay, now we've gotten so that we understand why there was uh, homosexuality and, and heterosexuality, and there were just two sides to get down to the third dimension, and now we're coming back up, and bisexual, uh, heteros homosexuality was accepted, bisexuality is being accepted, and now um, there's a floodgate of m many more sexualities. And long, you know, a year and a half ago, or two years, or well, actually, it was much longer than that. Um, it was after I died that I came back and I was talking to people, and I said, uh, you know, I could see people for who they really were, and I said, oh, my, 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 humans are going to be so surprised when they find out what true sexuality is, what's the truth with sexuality. And that's starting to come back, and just like everything else is these, these dividing down into little categories and fractaling down is coming back up and defractaling into more knowingness, more knowingness, and more more of the whole truth. All right? So, Rob, <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I've got some things pulled up that I'm going to pull that are um, groups that are much wiser than I have. I've put them up online, so I see no point in not using um, their information. Oh. Okay, and first of all, uh, first of all, that there is a difference between sexual orientation and uh, gender. Okay, there's a big difference between those. And where was this? Because I had this cool, very quick, like, said. Okay. Okay, this is, this is a short answer. Short answer is sex is about your body. Gender is about how you feel, is about who you feel yourself to be. And sexual orientation is about to whom you're attracted sexually. 
And I think that's a pretty good short answer. So hold with that, um, Rob. So kind of get that in your head. Sex is about your body. Gender is about who you feel yourself to be. And sexual orientation is about to whom you are attracted to sexually. All right? Let's use the, those words. Now, next, let's go into gender and sex first. We're going to do gender and sex before we do sexual orientation. Okay? So, let's just identify these things first. Get it out of the way. Sex is your assigned gender at birth and or the gender of your reproductive organs. Gender is where you feel that you personally fall on the spectrum between male and female. Commonly, people identify as male or female, but some fall in the middle or move throughout the spectrum. I am glad to see that they've changed the gender from male and female because just like sexual orientation is more complex than you can even imagine, so is gender. And that will, people will be figuring that as we raise vibrations and uh, connect with the truth from the all that is more and more and more, that will, that information will come out as well. Okay, now they've got cisgender, and that's when you identify with the gender you are assigned at birth. Transgender is when you identify with a gender different than what than you were assigned at birth. And transsexual is when you have had gender, gender reassignment surgery, or GRS, to change the sexual organs you were born with to that of a different gender. Okay? And all straight people that have been straight forever, you guys need to know and pay attention and learn what I'm getting ready to go over. Even if you're straight, or at least you think that you have been <laughs> your whole life, um, you need to pay attention and learn this information too. It will become important. Now, <clears throat> MTF is male to female. That's when somebody is assigned as a male at birth and identifies as a female. FTM is when they're female to male, when somebody is assigned as a female at birth and identifies as male. Binary is the genders at each end of the gender spectrum, which is male and female. Non-binary is an umbrella term for the genders that fall somewhere in the middle of that gender spectrum and are neither strictly male or female. Uh, this can be used, I guess the, this can be used as a gender identification without further explanation. Sometimes the term gender queer is used. Uh, next is gender fluid, moving between genders or having a fluctuating uh, gender identity. This will become much more important as the as time goes by, even though there's no such thing as time. Uh, a gender, a gender is not identifying with any gender, um, sometimes referring referred to as being genderless or gender void. By gender, identifying as two genders, commonly but not exclusively male and female. Sometimes you feel like both genders at the same time, and sometimes you flux fluctuate. And eventually, uh, and it's already out there, that there are individuals that don't feel like they're male or female, or both male or female, there's something else. And that is that feeling, or that beginning of amnesia dropping away to what it was before this game split those energies into male and female it was what it is before that split occurred um, polygender when you identify as multiple genders at once sometimes referred to as multi-gender uh, neutroius when you identify as a, as a gender, neither male nor female and or genderless. Gender apathetic, when you really do not identify or care about any particular gender, which is definitely, uh, Steffi frequent, frequently. And, and
androgyny. A-N-D-R-O-G-Y-N-E. This term overlaps a lot between gender identification and presentation. It can be used to describe others and as an identification. This term is used to describe people who are neither male nor female or are both male and female. Basically, anyone who does not fit into a binary gender category. Intergender somebody whose gender is somewhat between male and female. Demigender, when you feel as if you are one part of a defined gender and one or more parts of an undefined gender. Terms can include demigirl, demiboy, demiagender, etc. See um, how complicated this is already getting? Yeah, this is going to get way more. So now you can see why you've been confused on the planet for 70 years. Because yes sir, you are a star seed. So, yeah. Uh, there's next is gray gender, somebody with a weak gender identification of themselves. Upper, apo, apor, a gender, somebody with a strong gender identification of themselves that is non-binary. Maverick, a non-binary gender that exists outside of the orthodox social bounds of gender. Nova gender, a gender that is super complex and impossible to describe in a single term. <laughs> Designated gender, a gender assigned at birth based on an individual sex and or what gender society perceives a person to be. AFAB or AFAB, assigned female at birth. AMAB, A-M-A-B, assigned male at birth. Gender roles are certain behaviors and activities expected, considered acceptable of people in particular society based upon their designated gender. Gender presentation, the gender you present yourself to others. This is sometimes referred to as gender expression. Transitioning is the process of using medical means to change your sex. Intersex is a biological difference in sex, that is when people are born with genitals, gonads, and or chromosomes that do not match up exactly with male or female. Intersex individuals can have any romantic sexual orientation and can have any gender identification. Intersex individuals are about as common as redheads. Dyadic, someone who is not intersex and when their genitals, gonads, and chromosomes can all match into either can all match into either a male or female category. Trans woman, someone who is assigned as a male at birth but identifies as a woman. Trans man, someone who is assigned as a female at birth, but identifies as a man. Trans feminine, someone who identifies as feminine, but identifies as neither man nor woman. They must also be assigned male at birth. Trans masculine, someone who identifies as masculine, but identifies as neither a man nor woman, but also may, must be assigned female at birth. Social dysphoria, discomfort experience when acting in ways society in ways socially different than your gender or being addressed in ways different uh, to your gender. Body dys dysphoria is the same thing with your body. Term butch used to describe someone whose gender expression is more masculine than feminine. This is commonly used in describing women or lesbians. Femme, a term used to describe someone whose gender expression is more feminine than masculine. This is commonly used in describing women or lesbians. Binaryism, putting gender strictly into two categories, male and female, and refusing to acknowledge genders outside of male and female. Okay, that's the end of that, and I just wanted to run over that real quickly. Now, hmm, the next, <laughs> the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the sexualities. Okay, and uh, really, I'm just going over stuff that is already online, 
but I want to say it to you, but I want to have you just go look it up because I want you to hear me. And this is all recorded, so you can go to those things that I just said, and you can stop the tape, and you can type it into Google, and you look up each and every one of these. Because, like I told you, Gaia put everything, let, let the uh, 3D people have additional time on the planet so now she's moving fast so it's going from binary what what did take going from everything all being in one to everything being fractal down to the teeny tiniest tiniest ways including that sexual that heterosexuality was the only right way to be sexual at all to go from all to one uh, that took a long, 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 long time, and we're going to go the other direction much faster uh, if you're standing on the planet. Uh, for those that absolutely will not look at it any other way, they will transition to um, another planet. And they there is a chance that they might even not realize that they're even doing it. Um, they can do anything they want, or they're... Um, set up their story could be anything they want your gods you can do anything okay now let's go on to the next thing it looks to I'm not sure when the date is this is from UUK Unite UK and um, it's they're saying uh, to our knowledge we have found 29 sexualities that individuals identify